So if you want to follow me in, and I'll take you into the club. Okay, now, as I'm here now, I've got the sense of John just, I can visually see him now as if he's ready to pick up his guitar and start playing his music again for us. So that's what, what he's doing now. So what we've got now is that we've got an active energy trying to get him to come a little bit closer with this information. He's telling me to tell you is, is that he will give the information when we do the seance. The, the loneliness but the freedom of him being by himself in this wooded area here. And if you listen to the song, the song is quite special. And this is the famous Strawberry Fields. And would there have been an old jukebox at one time, or the old music? Well, yeah, I can tell you the story of the old jukebox. Okay. That was uh, given to him by uh, Yoko on the last birthday that he had. And it was one of the old, uh, I don't know what the name, Seaberg or Wurlitzer, one of the old ones that had all the lights on the side that played the old 78 records. And she gave it to him for a birthday present. I know that, as this, a fact. This is what he's mentioning. He told me that, yes. Yeah, okay, so just bear with me, let me see what he's saying. John is saying, just before he passed, there was a birthday. It seems to be a special memory to him for him to keep mentioning this birthday. Yeah. yeah, well, I, uh, that's a birthday, like I say, I gave him a batch of records there to put into his uh, jukebox because he, the jukebox she gave him was the old type ones that played the old 78s, and I had good connections to get old 78s, so I got him JS 78s. Yeah. I'm quite glad that he's mentioned this jukebox because it's a, uh, it's a, uh, oh yeah, that was personal information, you know, what John is, is relaying to you. Obviously, when people relay certain information from the spirit world, for them to come through with a jukebox is a little bit unusual. Yeah, well, he told me that himself. I had no way of knowing that he had a jukebox, but he told me she gave him the jukebox for his birthday. That I knew. And with that, our channeling session at Cafe La Fortuna was finished. A success. What we didn't know was that our night was about to take a mysterious turn. All right, at some point during the recording, we lost Joe's mic. And I thought maybe the battery went out or there was something. And then I started getting some garbage, like some noise in that communication. And then the mic came back up, normal. So at the end, we came and checked uh, on one track where Joe was to see if Everything was okay or not. So what, what happened was, um, recording, I was recording here, we're all sitting here, and uh, I guess they decided to play the tape back, and when we listened to the tape, it's very clear during a moment, a, a break in the audio. Through the disturbance and static, a disembodied voice is heard. And during that moment of dead space or white noise, we actually heard um, the words clearly spoken. We, we cannot edit here, so. No, and it would have required the point, because if if somebody would come and say, that's not true, would say, you know what? How could we do it with just a camera? No. Or maybe just a dub? I mean, we, we don't have special effects in these cameras. It's amazing, mind-blowing, seriously. Nothing I've ever seen to this day has ever... Man, I have no, I have no answer for it. <laughs>